All right, uh, JC Knife Works. Just getting ready to do some heat treating on some prototype blades. Um, this one here is actually a CPM S30V prototype knife um, that we just got water jetted and did some grinding on over the last couple days. Got it uh, ready to go here. Looks like she's uh, been finished ground with some 120 and cleaned up and ready to go in the oven. We've got a um, Paragon oven over here with a Sentry controller. Um, it also has a nitrogen purge um, supplied regulator system here. You can see in the background. Um, we did a little testing on some 440C and we set our flow meter at uh, oh, about 7 and um, we didn't have good luck with that at all. There are no directions that tell you, for those of you interested in buying one of these um, ovens with flow meters and such, there are no directions that tell you exactly what to have it set on. You just want to get yourself positive pressure. You want more gas flowing out of that box than oxygen flowing in. And we learned that the hard way and got some really gnarly scale. Well, I'll show you. Some really gnarly scale on some of our 440C. You can see that. That's that's just uh, that's gnarly. I went at that little spot with a buffer there just to see what's going to happen, but I'm going to have to get that dude all cleaned up. So lesson learned. So now we're going to try the S30V, and uh, it's got a, a particular regiment where we're going to um, soak it at a certain temperature for about 10 minutes just to get the same temperature all the way through then ramp it up to the maximum temp for about 30 then we're going to take it out quench it in the oil over here in our quench tank and uh, get it down to right around a thousand degrees and then finish off with an air cool then after it air cools we're going to put it in the doer over here for a cryo treatment then back into the paragon then back into the cryo then back into the paragon and hopefully we have a nice 62 Rockwell hardness blade when we're done that doesn't chip and fall apart that's what we're after so I've got the Sentry uh, processor programmed all I have to do is take what represents about 10 hours of my life's work and throw it in the box here and press start and hope everything goes to plan Okay, so we're going to set that guy in there. See the thermocoupler there. Now we're going to shut the door. And start. I got to bring down my gauger here just a little bit. So we'll get ready for this. And this is the other 440C that we had some scaling issues on. I'm really hoping this uh, purge system is worth the money and we don't have to go to pouching. You know, you pay extra money for something you really hope that that it works so 
we got this guy firing. He's climbing. And it's going to be a little while before we are ready for the quench. Once it starts getting close, I will get this oil heated up a little bit over here. Get it to about 150 degrees. And then, like I said, we're going to pull it out of the oven. Quench it until it just isn't red anymore. Take it out of the oil. And then air cool it down to, you know, equalized temperature of the room, and then uh, cryo it, back in the Paragon, cryo again, back in the Paragon, done deal. So we will see what happens here in the hours to come. Thanks for watching.